So now we're making the incision for the septoplasty. And as I mentioned, I did notice a little bit of deviation of the septum. So if there's any bone or cartilage that's obstructing her airway, causing her to have breathing problems, we're going to remove that. Anytime you make the nose smaller, you always want to make sure that the internal airway is perfect. Because the last thing you want to do with the patient is make their nose prettier, but then they can't breathe. So this part takes about 10 minutes. Right now what we're doing, go, just keep going, is we're removing some of the deviated bone that's obstructing her airway. Go ahead. Go. 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 Okay. And now, this is what the deviated bone looks like here. When we went in for Erica's surgery, we had a numerous procedures we had to do. So we just finished seeing Erica at six weeks following her rhinoplasty surgery. As you can tell by looking at the before and after photos, her nose looks a lot better and she still has a lot more healing to go. So I'm very happy for her right now.